everyone. I'm Lauren Lin from Luxo Technology. Today, we're embarking on an in-depth review of the highly anticipated Bitmain S19K Pro. This model hit the market in April this year and has just started shipping recently. Please join us as we delve into its design and the real-time performance. First, let's look at some key specifications. According to Bitmain's official website, this SHA-256 ASIC miner has a nameplate hash rate of 120 terahash and 2760 watts in power consumption. This translates to an efficiency of 23 joule per terahash, which is comparable to S19XP's. However, the price is more than 40% lower. Recommended operating temperature range spans from 0 to 40 degrees Celsius with a humidity tolerance ranging from 0 to 90% as advised on Bitmain's official website. Now, let's get up close with the exterior of this machine. The S19K Pro weighs 12.85 kilograms and maintains the same size as other S19 series. It is using the 200 to 240 volts APW12125 DPSU, which is interchangeable with the E and F version, and it can be found on other S19 series too. Notably, Bitmain's Bitcoin ASICs traditionally have front and rear fans with matching electrical currents. However, the S19K Pro distinguishes itself with the two more powerful MarTech front fans rated at 4.5 amp and two 1.65 amp NIDEC rear fans. This feature will allow S19K Pro to drop more air inflow during operation to reduce heat. Moving on to the interior, we will start with a look at the control board. S19K Pro employs the AmLogic control board featuring the AmLogic A113D chip. Although there might be different control board versions in circulation, but so far we haven't encountered another control board version that comes with S19K Pro yet. The most notable change to the control board is the fan connectors. We haven't seen this type of larger and a square shaped 4 pin fan connector on any previous Batman ASIC models. This new type of fan connector will add on slightly more cost if miners wanted to replace the S19K Pro control board because you will need to replace the fans as well to make sure the fan connectors are applicable. Electrically, this type of fan connector operates the same way as the traditional one, but this is a different and new form factor. Inside the machine, unlike the recently manufactured vanilla S19s, S19 XP and S19 J Pros, which employed aluminum-backed halfboards, the S19K Pro features three FR4 hashboards equipped with BM1366 chips, the same chip model as the S19 XP. Each S19K Pro hashboard houses 77 chips, while the S19 J Pro has 126 chips, the S19 XP has 110, and the S19 J Pro Plus carries 120 chips. The fewer and fewer chips in the later models contribute to better thermal performance, allowing the machines to operate at higher frequencies with reduced heat density. Instead of the bolt-on heat sinks found on S19J Pros, just like S19J Pro Plus, the S19K Pro also employs individually attached heat sinks. While concerns have arisen in the past about these heat sinks falling off due to overheating, we believe it shouldn't become an issue as long as the solder paste used in the S19K Pro can tolerate high temperatures associated with overclocking or weather. With our examination of the exterior and interior complete, let's power up this machine and see how it performs under normal room temperature conditions. After a 15-minute run at 30 degrees Celsius, or approximately 85 degrees Fahrenheit, and at an inlet temperature of 55 degrees Celsius, we observed an average hash rate of 122.6 terahash 
and power consumption of 2,822 watts. This translates to an efficiency of 23 Jupiter hash as advertised. Given the warm room temperature during testing, we anticipate further efficiency improvements as the temperature decreases. The noise level displayed at 88 to 89 decibels, slightly higher than other SRTs operating in similar environments. Now for the real challenge. We will subject this miner to a high temperature test with an inlet temperature of 62 degrees Celsius and an average ambient temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. After a two-hour run under these conditions, we witnessed consistent hash rate performance with a real-time power consumption at 2,928 watts and an average hash rate of 122 terahash. This results in a decent efficiency of 23.9 Jupiter hash with only a 4% drop in efficiency after running in a high temperature environment for a longer period. This indicates that S19K Pro has plenty room for overclocking as well. So what does it mean when compared to other models? Actually, in similar testing conditions with the stock firmware, we did the test on the same day. The S90 XP shut down after just 7 minutes and the S19J Pro Plus followed a few minutes later. So there you have it. We've put the Bitmain S19K Pro 120 terahash ASIC miner through its paces, examining its hardware design and testing its performance under room temperature as well as in heated environment. Overall, S19K Pro is a robust model that has relatively higher tolerance for heated environment than S19XP and S19J Pro Plus. Leaves considerable room for overclocking potentials. If you're interested in S19K Pro, Luxor ASIC Trading Desk stands ready to help you source the best price to manners. And Luxor firmware Luxor OS is here to unlock the full potential of S19K Pro for you. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and leave your questions or comments below. Thanks for joining us on this review journey, and until next time, happy hashing!